Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. We are gonna be doing a huge clothing haul. I've never actually done a clothing or fashion related video on this channel before. I mean, granted, I haven't been on this channel in like eight or nine months, but when I was really active, I never really dabbled into anything other than makeup. So I thought it'd be fun to maybe test it out. I like watching a lot of clothing hauls on YouTube, so I thought might as well try to do one myself. Also, before we get started with the clothes, I am five feet tall and I am 103 pounds currently and usually I am an extra small to a small in most shirts and I'm a 24 to 25 or zero to size one in most bottoms okay so I think let's get started with Paxton because I picked up quite a few things from Paxton and most of those are shorts but I wanted to show you guys the one non shorts item that I picked up from Paxton and this is one of their cropped jackets in the sage color guys this is so cute it's a denim material the length is perfect for me and it's not super thick so I feel like for the summer obviously it's super hot in South Florida but if I was going to dinner and I wanted a light jacket this would be really nice to pair with a romper or just a crop top and jeans this was pretty heavily discounted it was like half off because I think it's probably phasing out like their fall collection. So if it's still available, I really recommend picking it up at the price that I paid for it because it was pretty decent. All right, let's do the 20 pairs of shorts that I bought. It's not 20, but it's a lot. Let me explain really quick. I kind of grew out of every other pair of shorts that I have. And a lot of my shorts I bought like five years ago, they just looked really old and worn out and ruggedy and some of them didn't even fit so i decided to kind of toss all those out as part of spring cleaning and by toss i mean donated but i got rid of them and i just thought it was time to redo my shorts collection so let's go through these first off we have this pair this is the vintage high rise style and this is in the shade oh my gosh shade can you tell that i only usually film makeup videos this is in the size 24. size 24 in paxton is pretty much like legit my actual true to size fit. I haven't found jeans or shorts that fit me better than the Paxton ones do just based on my body type. This particular pair has the buttons that go down for you to close them. It's like a light blue to medium wash. It has fray at the bottom. They come up like around my belly button and they're a really good length for me. The next style of shorts that I purchased, these are all the high rise festival shorts. First up in this style is this light blue wash with ripped. I just feel like a good pair of ripped ripped denim shorts is really essential for the summer. Next up, we just got a staple pair of black ones. These don't have any rips or anything. They're just, you know, solid black. They have frays at the bottom. I got the same style, but in a dark wash denim. Good for like running errands or if you don't want like any extra exposed skin like the ripped ones. These are just really good like everyday shorts. And I got all three of those also in a size 24. The last two pairs of shorts from Paxton are both their mom short styles. The first one I have here is this like mix match print. And I think this kind of like puzzle piece looking denim is really trendy. I do want to note that in these mom shorts, I got a size 25. I actually bought these in store originally and I bought them in a 24 because I bought all my other shorts in a 24. When I came home, I tried them on and the 24 was like exactly my size, but I kind of had a fear that if I washed them or if I gained a couple pounds, they wouldn't fit me. So then I went online and I ordered the same exact pair in a 25 and I ordered another pair of mom shorts, which I'll show you in a second, also in a 25, but these are looser and these fit me perfectly. The other pair of mom shorts I bought are just like this basic medium light blue kind of wash. The 25 in this is too big. So I feel like if I had ordered this in a 24, it probably would have fit me. Sometimes when you're ordering clothes online, you kind of just have to take that chance. So just wanted you guys to know in case you plan on ordering them. Every single one of these shorts I bought, I bought them on sale. They were all like 20, 30 or 40% off. And if you do, the discount plus pickup in store, you get another 10% off the sale price. So I got a lot of these like in the mid 20s, which was a really good price for Paxson denim. Moving on from Paxson, we're gonna go to Hollister. I actually normally don't really shop at Hollister. It's not like a store that comes to my mind when I'm thinking about purchasing clothes. I kind of just walked by, I saw some stuff in the display and I thought, hey, might as well check it out. The store was 40% off actually the day that I shopped there. And so I just went in and I actually found a couple of really cute items. I did go ahead and purchase another jacket type of item. This is a white denim jacket and I've never owned a white one before. 
it's plain white. There's no rips or anything. It's a nice thin denim material, so I don't think this will make me overly hot or sweaty in the summertime. It's casual, very daytime appropriate, so I thought this would be a really nice addition to my closet. By the way, I did purchase this jacket in a size small. I think they do even have extra smalls, and you know, I could have gone with that, but I like that the small has a little bit more of like a looser, relaxed fit. Another white item that I purchased is actually a pair of white jeans. So I have actually never owned a pair of white jeans. So when I went to Hollister, I wasn't really sure what to expect because each store, even though it says, you know, a zero is a zero or a 24 is a 24, it's not. It's usually different. They have like slight differences and that's exactly what happened to me in Hollister. In store, I tried on a size 24, which said zero regular. It was probably exactly my size, but again, if I washed it or if I gained a pound or two, I feel like it wouldn't fit me anymore. So I actually went up a size to a one regular, which is a 25. This is actually called their Ultra High Rise Vintage Straight Denim. It's a super flattering cut. They come to the perfect length for me, right to my ankles. Again, I am short, so it's beneficial for me. I feel like a lot of denim I can't find at this length. So I'm a fan of them, but if you are taller than me, this style might be short for you. And the last two are actually two tops. They're the same top, just in different colors. I tend to do that if I like something, I'll try to just buy it in multiple colors. Like this top I'm wearing is from Zara. It's one of their like cinched basic tees and I have like five of these, but I tend to do that with a lot of my clothes. This is the first one that caught my attention. This is a blue paisley print. It has these slightly balloony sleeves. It has like that cinched detail in the back, so it's actually really flattering. It doesn't like hang loose or make you look wider. I got mine in the size extra small, and then I also bought the same top in white. I just thought this light floral detail was just so cute and girly. This with like a pair of like classic blue jeans or blue shorts and then maybe like a nude sandal or a nude heel. It's just like the perfect ideal outfit for me. And I'm really excited about everything I bought from Hollister. I might start shopping there more. I've never really paid much attention to it. I actually forgot to mention this from Hollister, so I'll just put it in here really quick. This is just a black cami, but it has like that fake corset kind of look to it. So it's not an actual corset, but it has like those ridges in the front to make it look like one. And it's just really cute and casual. And it's like a really light cotton, so it's soft. It's not gonna make you overly hot or anything. And I did have this in an extra small. Let's move on to Zara. I love Zara. I shop there very regularly, but I mostly buy like basic stuff from there. I don't know, I feel like a lot of their more like formal fancy stuff doesn't really fit like my size or my height. So I don't really have a lot of luck in that department, but I love buying stable basic clothes from Zara because I think they do it best at a really decent price. So first up, we just bought this plain white. It's like a sweater material, but it's not as thick as a regular sweater, but it kind of looks like that. It's thick enough to where it's not super see-through. And so that's why I wanted to buy this. I keep saying shade. I, I got mine in the, in the size small. Next up from Zara, we also have another tank top. This is kind of like a muscle tee kind of tank. I mean, the cut doesn't go like all the way down here. It does stop halfway. And this is just a nude color, which I thought would be just cute to wear every day. I have a lot of sweatpants, so I thought something like this would be just like a nice top to add into my rotation of crop tops that I wear with my sweatpants. And I also got this in a size extra small. The white top only starts at a small, so I usually just get the smallest size that they have at Zara. And then this is one of my favorites. This is the last thing I bought from Zara on this trip. This is supposed to be a dupe for that really popular like cross neck top that Aritzia has. I'm probably gonna have my mom like alter the straps like maybe tuck them in a little bit so that they're shorter because it does come pretty like down on me just because I have a really small torso but it is a really good dupe it's this really fun hot pink bright fuchsia color I never really wear a color like this this is super out of my comfort zone but I got mine in the size small so last up for clothes before we move on to shoes I got a couple of things from Airy and American Eagle so I'm just gonna combine them together the thing I got from American Eagle is this white kind of frilly girly dainty crop top it's super cute it's like this lace fabric that goes around it's cinched in the back so it's gonna fit you really well i got mine in the size extra small from airy i just picked up two of these really simple crop tops and these were on sale i think the whole store was 30 percent off i believe so this is just another kind of muscle tee looking crop top this is a little bit longer than the zara one it's a really nice ribbed 
material. I got a sage green color, which is one of my favorite colors. And I also got this like indigo blue-ish color. So I just thought this was really unique. I don't own a shirt this color. So I got both of these and these are both in extra small. I love staples like this. I know a lot of these pieces are very basic, if you say, but I just like having a lot of options like that in my rotation because I work from home. Most of the time I'm wearing pretty casual clothes. I wanted my closet to reflect that. We're gonna get started with shoes and I did buy quite a few pairs. I bought four pairs of sandals from Lulu. So I've actually never shopped from Lulu's. I know they have a lot of cute clothes. I've just never particularly shopped there. When I was putting away all my clothes and my shoes like into my closet here, I just looked at my sandals and I was like, these are kind of gross, they're super old and they just look really worn out and like ragged and just outdated. And so I kind of just purged all of my flat sandals and then I was like, shoot, now I don't have any. So I went online, did a little search and Lulu's had one really good reviews and two, all of their sandals are like 19 to $22, which I thought was a really fair price. So that's why I picked up four pairs, not one, two or three, but four. They are all just plain, simple sandals. There are a couple of other like fun sandals that I want to try from Lulu's, but I thought I'd place this one order, see how it goes and I can always get those in a month or two. So first up, I got a pair of these black flats. I usually just wear my Nike slides everywhere if I'm gonna wear a pair of shoes like this, but you know, they're not like nice sandals and I need to stop wearing them when I go to places where I should probably look better or just like more put together. So I wanted a pair of slides that were still slides and easy to just throw on, but not Nike slides. I got mine in the size five and a half and they fit really well. Next up, I have another pair of black sandals, but these are just like the type of sandals that I wear literally every day when I'm wearing like nicer outfits. I usually just like the ones that have like one strap up here and then like a loop and I feel secure in them. I can walk long distances in them without my feet hurting or my feet like coming in and out of the shoe. Next we have the exact same shoe as the black one I just showed you, but we just got it in a tan color. Nothing really fancy about them. They're just really cute and just really practical. And I also got these in a five and a half. We got two black ones, a brown one, and then I obviously had to get a white pair. The other ones that I showed you just had like one strap and then the loop to put your ankle through, but this actually has two straps and then the loop. And this is more of like a woven material. So I feel like if I was wearing these with kind of like a nicer outfit, that texture on it definitely like elevates the outfit. I do have another pair of shoes that I ordered from Amazon that aren't here yet. So after I talk about this one, I'll just throw up a picture of them. But the last pair of shoes that I actually have with me, Steve Madden shoes, and these are their Kimmy sandal. So from Steve Madden in the past, I bought a bunch of their sandals that have like this platform wedge. I have a nude pair and a snakeskin pair. And if you know me in real life, you know that those are literally the only shoes I ever wear. But I didn't have a black pair and I saw these at Steve Madden and Aventura and the Kimmy sandals, all of them are discounted right now. So they're like 40% off. So it's black straps, it has two up here and then the loop to put your ankle in. But then the sole of the shoe is white and it has like this woven, nude colored texture around it. So I think it's a really nice daytime sandal. And I found another pair of sandals that looks very similar to Steve Madden sandals. And those were like 30 something dollars. The reviews looked really promising. I looked at pictures, I looked at videos. So I thought, you know what? They're about $15 cheaper than the Steve Madden ones. Why don't I just give them a go? So those are the ones that are actually not here yet. I'll have a picture of them up on the screen so you can see it. But they look very similar to the other Steve Madden sandals that I already own. And so I'm curious to see if this is considered like a dupe, if it's the same quality, if they're gonna last as long. All right guys, that wraps up my summer clothing haul. This haul was definitely centered around summer basics. I do plan on buying a lot more clothes coming up for some of the trips I have planned. And those will probably be a little bit more fun. Maybe some like going out tops, some dresses, just like some different kind of pieces. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and come back for future videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.